Time to go back to school, to work, and if you have lunch over there, I have the ideal bag so you can take it with you. Today I have a really simple project but with a few little things that give it a really pro look. So I'm going to use this fabric, it was given to me ages ago, someone got it for me and I never use it because I like it a lot. So I was hoping to use it for the best project I could but I don't know, it stayed there. So I'm going to use it and I think it's going to give it a nice modern look. And for this project I'm going to be using my piece of fabric and some lining. I have this poplin in black, I have only a little piece but it's going to be enough. So I'm going to cut two uh, squares of 45 by 45 centimeters of the lining and the fabric. And to make it a bit more fun I'm going to fold it to wrap it like a paper bag and put a clip on top. One of these ones you use for a backpack. I'm going to cut two squares of material and lining and sew them right sides together on three sides and make the bottom. Then I'll put them one inside the other, wrong sides together and finish the top. So I can top stitch the corners to add structure and sew the lock. This polyester strap uh, fray a lot and you can end up with nothing. So I'm going to use a mat to make sure they don't, uh, being really careful of course. To sew the straps to the lock I'm going to just put it inside and sew it with a rectangle and a cross inside to make it quite strong. Now right sides together I'm going to sew three of the sides which will be the main back. And now to give the bag some shape I'm going to pinch the bottom sides 8 centimeters. This triangle is what is going to give it a bottom uh, so we can put Tupperware and our stuff in there and take into account when you do this that what you take is going to double so try a few times until you get the measurement you like because what you pinch is going to double on each side once you put the two seams uh, against each other.
And now, so these triangles don't move a lot and the bag loses shape. I'm going to sew them to the bottom of the handbag, well, handbag, the bag, making sure I follow this triangular shape. And to the lining, I did the same two triangle shapes, but I'm not going to be sewing them to the bottom. I don't think it's necessary. I think it'll be, it'll stay in place. And the straps. The straps is another thing that could have been sewn from the beginning, but I wasn't sure because uh, I didn't have that much. I only had a little piece. So I'm going to sew it now, but again, you can do it from the beginning. And I'm going to do it from the sides up from the bottom up to the side in a rectangle shape. It looks nice, but it's a bit flimsy. It doesn't hold the shape, so I'm going to uh, iron some interfacing. I have a thick one to the bottom and then another layer bottom and the sides that go up the front and back. Why didn't I do this before? You can prepare your fabric and do this before but I was afraid that it was too much to sew together with the canvas and then the straps. I have to sew it as well. So I decided to do it like this. But if you have a powerful machine, you can do it from the beginning. With my bag and my lining, I'm going to put them one inside the other, wrong sides together, so you don't see any seams or any little uh, ugly things. And because the lining is one of the colors of the um, fabric I'm using, I'm going to uh, take advantage of this and fold it outwards. Instead of using any bias tape or instead of folding both inside so you can't see any bits, I'm going to take advantage of the color so it has a pop of color. And because I think it's a bit flimsy still, I'm going to add some uh, top stitching on the sides right on where at the same distance that I chose to do at the bottom. So at eight centimeters, I'm going to top stitch folding like so, so it holds the shape only a little bit, only 10 centimeters down. And this way the handbag, the bag knows where it has to fold and you're not taking room from opening it. And now with this is much easier because it just folds really easily. It knows where it has to fold and it's much better. And now you just wrap it, your burrito style bag and lock it. And that way, look how cool it is, eh?
I improvised a little bit in the areas of the interfacing and the straps. I was afraid with the interfacing that uh, my machine couldn't do it, that it was too many layers for the seams and with the straps I was afraid that I only had this little piece. So I didn't know where to place it exactly, if maybe I had to place it a bit uh, high up. So I didn't know and I decided to do it later. But you can prepare your fabrics and do it first as well. It doesn't really matter. And another thing I improvised was these seams and I'm so pleased with them because the bag just folds and it's only fabric, it hasn't got anything in here. Two layers of fabric and look how nicely it folds, it's amazing. So I think it looks quite cool the way it wraps itself and it's quite big. You can easily put a Tupperware, a bottle or your sandwiches, anything to go to work in a good mood. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments if you like it, what you thought, if you've made something similar or if you're going to make one. And I'll leave you a link here to other videos I've made uh, with little scraps you have around the house. And don't forget to subscribe and to share with someone you know who might like it. And I'll see you again soon, bye!